Sooner Scoop HD. You mentioned you already had a relationship with Coach Bates, but talk about that a little bit. Yes, sir. Is, that, and is he the main reason you're here? He was definitely uh, part of the reason I'm here. He, him and Coach uh, Venables are some guys that I had a lot of trust in, even in high school coming out. Um, but also being at Oklahoma, it's, it speaks for itself. I mean, um, winning, winning so many champ Big 12 championships and being a part of a conference is going to be interesting too. I haven't done that yet. So I'm, I'm excited just to be a part of the Oklahoma fan base and the Oklahoma tradition. What is it about Coach Bates that you like and why, why does he do such a good job with you guys? I think the biggest thing for me is the knowledge he has. He's put in, he's worked with some crazy um, talented linemen and He's produced talented linemen and allowing them to, he grows them in a way that allows them to go to the next level and, and not just play but dominate in some ways. And just picking his brain on those little things and the details of stuff is probably the biggest thing I like. What have you learned about your group so far? It's some of the hardest working men I've ever been a part of. It, it's been fun to get after it with those guys. I mean, uh, I can't say enough about them. The, the older guys took me in, JK, Cole, um, even some young guys like uh, his, we call him G Baby. His name's Grayson. Uh, guys like that, they just came in. They uh, helped me out right away, and I'm I feel like I'm already at home, so it's been fun. For transfer portal guys, it seems like a business decision always comes up. Yes, sir. How different is this for for you guys individually, as far as coming together as a transfer portal group and being expected almost to contribute from day one? Um, I would say it's not too different than a business choice, but I would yeah. also say. We're all just looking for opportunities just like everybody else that was already sure. here. I mean, uh, just because they did recruit us in and that as from a transfer portal doesn't mean we still don't have to work. I mean, yeah. we have to work like everybody yeah, else. Sure. And um, that's the quote unquote beauty to me of the transfer portal. I know there's NIL and stuff like that, but just being able to show what you can do and uh, especially at a different spot is, is nice. How tough was that decision to kind of go through everything that you did last year in South Bend? <sighs> Yeah, it was tough. It was, uh, it was a spiritual battle, physical battle. It was um, some, one of the hardest things I've ever done because I had such a great time there. There was nothing wrong with that place. Yeah. Couldn't say nothing bad about Notre Dame in any way. Um, it was just more of a choice I needed to make if I wanted to for my football career, and that's what I chose. What was the selling point here? It seems like defensive line has been a real focus around here. I think the, uh, the change that's about to come to the D-line, the way that this defense allows us to move and getting a grasp on the playbook now, finally, especially those guys last year. Sure. Um, getting that all together, is, it's going to allow this D-line to really spark up this year, and I'm excited. Is it unique in a way, kind of, I guess, getting to know a new college town? Yeah, it is unique. It's, it's interesting to see the different traditions, the little spots on campus and stuff like that that people uh, have and the restaurants and things. So sure. it's definitely uh, definitely bigger and different than Notre Dame. Yeah. Notre Dame's its own little style, yeah. and I loved it there. but. It's been, uh, it's been interesting to just learn about this place. Do you realize you played for two of the greatest elite Blue Blood programs in college football? Yes, sir. I, I know. I, I'm blessed to be able to do that. It's, it's been wild. It's been a wild ride, but I'm excited. Yes, what was sir. the portal process like? Were there phone calls yes, that – did you get interest that maybe you didn't think that you would come? Well, I would say – there was a lot of interest I did expect to come. Sure. But there was also – yes, sir, there was some that – I didn't know I had a connection to yeah. or that did need um, the alignment. So right away off the bat, I'm not the type of person that likes to do recruiting in mm -hmm. a sense. I want to be able to find a school. So I, so I gave it a two month period. Um, so right away I was I had to cut off some schools just because I knew I wasn't going to be uh, comfortable there in the sense yeah. of the defensive style and things like that. So yeah, so there's definitely some schools that were. What was the comfort level just with Coach Bates? I mean, you kind of went through that with him before, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. I mean, the comfort level was 100%. Um, coming out of high school, it was neck and neck with uh, Notre Dame and Clemson, and I could have went either way uh, with those with Coach Bates and those guys. But I'm just, I'm thankful now that I'm able to do both. Sure. And at a school like Oklahoma, at that, so it's uh, it's worked out. What was that process like? I guess just as far as you know, reconnecting with mm -hmm. Coach uh, Bates, and then also talking to Brent. And he's kind of in a different role than maybe he was when he was recruiting yes, you sir. at Clemson. Yeah, I would say recruiting-wise, uh, Coach B is the exact same. He's high energy. Uh, everything he says you listen to. Sure. It's crazy how, 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 much, how easy he gets your attention. Um, so that hasn't changed too much. But with Coach Bates, it's more than just a relationship. It's more – he's really – it's a spiritual level yeah. thing, you know. Um, I'm a Christian, sure. and uh, he is as well. So, But he also allows us to practice that in a way that a lot of people – 
say they do, but they don't. You know, he, he sends the devotions every day, which things like that. So I know that's a little piece of stuff, but it was uh, it was just it's just nice to have that piece to it too. I think one of the big things that jumped out from Brent's first year here last year, even through the six and seven, was mm -hmm. there was a sense of closeness, sense of tightness, family yes, within sir. this group. Yes, sir. Is that one of the things that like jumps off the page first when you got into the locker room? Oh yeah, I, I know every school preaches family sure. and culture, and I had that in order yeah. too. That was that was nice, but. As soon as I got in the locker room, it felt the exact same. I know different guys and learning things like that, but everybody's hanging out with everybody. It's not like a, you don't have groups of people yeah. here and here. I can go talk to Ethan. I can go talk to Devon, who just got here, and it's it's all the same. So it's really cool. Do you know any guys that were down here already? Actually, I didn't. No, yeah. it was a fresh restart for me. It, there is a certain level of trust, though, that you have to have with the right. coaches, with right. the program, when you do enter the portal because. Yeah, especially for somebody like you, this is probably like your last stop before you go to the next level, yes, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. What's that trust level like? It's a trust level you don't find too common, yeah. especially coming from a transfer portal. I know guys, some guys, um, I wouldn't say necessarily don't think about that, but sure. uh, have other options for that. But for me, trust was a big, big thing that I was looking into and already having a connection helps with that, but seeing the connection he built within just a couple of months with the guys that were here, uh, is a credit to what he can do. So I'm sure it's easier to going through that process now than it was oh, yeah. when you're 17 yes, and you don't yeah. really know what's going on. It, it's, it helps a lot knowing what you're getting into. Sure. Yes, sir. Sooner Scoop HD.